Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Imam Hussein TV3. I'm your host. I go by the name of Yasser Al Hilfi. And joining me today is the one and only King Mullah Sheikh Everything. <laughs> Mullah Rashid, hi, Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> How are you? Assalamu rahmatullah. How's everything? Alhamdulillah. It's a pleasure. To, you know, it's, it's, it makes me very happy, Wallah. The fact that not only do I get to spend four live shows with you, I get to spend about two hours with you in those four live shows. Allah. And you know how much blessings that is? Do you know what the blessing is? Huh? Is that you saved Imam Hussein TV3 so much electricity <laughs> that we do not use lights <laughs> but use the noor coming out of your face. As I said, this is Seven Steps to Heaven, the best quiz show, your words, not mine. Mullah Rashid, yes. before we get our first callers, because you know they like to rush yeah, in, yeah, yeah. be the first to come on, yes. let me ask you two important questions. Go for it. First, what did you have for your star today? So today, um, I had uh, today I, I had to start at home. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah, I, I got to eat at home with the family. It was very nice. That's very rare uh, because Mullah Rashid gets invited <laughs> to every place. No, 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 no. So there was there was some fried chicken. Oh. There was some uh, some potatoes, oh. seasoned potatoes. Oh. Um, there was there was a ton of stuff to be honest. Alhamdulillah, mm. it was really really nice iftar. What about Mashallah. you? What did you have? Um, oh, I just wanted to say yet again, Mullah Rashid saying all the nice food he has and no invite. So your invite is coming, Baba. Yeah, yeah, that's he what they all say. Every Ramadan, he gets an invite, by the that's way. That's what they all say. Um, <laughs> for Iftar, what did I have today? I got invited to one of my dear brother's house. Mm. And um, we had meshriyats. We had uh, grilled food. So we okay. had, you know, chicken tikka, uh, kebab, wings, my favorite. Oh, yes. Lamb chops. Yes, like yes. A king. Yeah, yeah. And then we had some rice with some meat, you know, just as a... Back up if someone doesn't like okay. what I just said. Someone and doesn't then, want the protein. Then yeah, got, yeah, you know, some people are not on the diet. Bit, you know? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, fair and enough. And then uh, after I was uh, welcomed by a beautiful Kinder Bueno cake. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That and an Oreo cake. Okay. And then a lotus cake. Huh. And then some desserts that I actually brought uh, okay. from Pachi. Oh, so, nice. You know, baklava. Yeah, baklava. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, if you're from London Kenaf, and you don't know about Pachi. Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. If you're not from London and you don't have Pachi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. help you. <laughs> and for those that need. don't know what Pachi is, it's basically just a dessert shop that sells lots of sweets, baklavas, cakes. Iraqi, Syrian, yeah, yeah, Lebanese. It's, it's the spot. It's it the is. Spot. It is. It is. Um, but uh, huh. that's the first question. Yes, yes, your second. Now, what's my second question, yes. Mullah? The second question I want to ask you today is Seven Steps to Heaven. Yeah. What's it about? And who can call? Is it just Londoners? You know, people within yeah. a five mile radius? What is it? No, no. So, Seven Steps to Heaven for those watching at home, for those that might be tuning in for the first time, mm. essentially is a quiz show, a game show, where basically it's called Seven Steps, Seven Questions to heaven, i.e. Mm. Karbala. So you're going to answer seven questions. You get them right. You get two prizes. The first is you get a ring, which is made from the marble of the shrine of Imam Al-Hussein, alayhi salam. But wow. secondly... There's another prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah another okay. prize. They're doing it big. Wow, Imam Hussein TV going all out. Doing it big. The second prize is that your name gets put into a hat. And on our last show, we will pick out a name. And if it is your name, then you will get the chance to go to Karbala to see Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And I what a prize that is. Heaven. To answer seven questions, you know, I think that is fantastic. And for those people that are thinking, oh, I live in Korea, I live in Japan, I live in Portugal, Portugal, Colombia, <laughs> North Korea, Canada, South. America. Wow. Canada, America, you USA, guys can Montreal. All, all call in and it is free. Why? Because you're calling via WhatsApp. The mm. number is just there. There? Yep, there. Wow. That number. So please call in, tune in, let us mm. know. Um, mm. and, and speak to us, basically. And you know what? Quick one before I know I was going to cut you off. No, no I'm please, so sorry. Please, I'm very excited. I'm really, really happy, by the way. Why? Because the response that I've been getting. Oh. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have actually been messaging me saying, oh, wow. we've seen the show. We like it. We want to call in. Um, a few people said they're going to call in today. Mm. So oh, we'll see, inshallah. But it's, it's, it's good to see that, you know, it's building up. People want to go to Karbala. Yeah. And it's nice. So It's nice to see that people are messaging you because I've gotten no messages, mashallah. <laughs> As I said, people are watching this show for 
يوم ولا راشد and not for us حلفي but it's okay I bring the vibes and that's all that I need to be honest with you ولا راشد the coolers are coming in oh really and uh, of course yes. come on ولا let's go but one thing before we take on the caller is that um, if you do not win because unfortunately mm. some people don't win you know they get caught by you know the nervousness scared yeah. oh, I don't embarrass myself they fail sometimes yeah. but one thing that me and you say throughout the whole show is that if you don't win today guess what today is the 5th of Ramadan yeah. we are on on Monday yeah, yeah. then after that on Wednesday yeah. then Friday yeah. then Saturday and it's a whole repeat whole exactly. repeat and guess what we don't take one time win one time lose yeah. don't call again no call again yeah yeah please you do you can all call up you can all call back please so if you if, you, if you're not successful you've got another chance so exactly. don't think it's the end of the road because guys because people get upset yeah, yeah. Oh, i just embarrass myself i'm not getting it but you will but yeah. guess what i just got told that the first caller is ready and yes. Mullah Rashid, there's something that you need to tell them straight in let's go caller our first caller assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum salam wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah how are you how is everything how's ramadan going for you uh, i'm good and yes um ramadan is going good alhamdulillah alhamdulillah so uh, we just wanted to know what is your name and where are you calling from mm. my, my name is shizan hussein and i'm calling from newport Ooh. nice newport Very- very nice community. Yeah, yeah. Newport. Some of our friends actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, resided there. Um, sister, sorry, can you just repeat your name, sister? Shiza Hussein. Shiza Hussein. Am I getting that right? I think that's what I heard. Yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. yeah, perfect. So, sister Shiza, is this the first time you are watching Seven Steps to Heaven, or do you already know the gist of the show? Yeah, I know. I've been watching it. Oh, that's very nice to hear. <laughs> so I'm going to tell the AV team to get ready. And sister, just before we start, are you watching on YouTube? Yes. Perfect. So there's a bit of delay, but don't worry, we'll wait for you. But on your screens, you'll see the map that we will be taking you through. And inshallah, your first step will be at the doors of the shrine of the commander of the faithful. Peace, be, peace and blessings be upon him and his family. And your first question will be asked by me, actually, because um, I just decided so. And Mullah Rashid <laughs> seems like that's... No, let's go for it. So the first question is, the Quran is recited melodically <laughs> in a style known as... <laughs> melodically. <laughs> melodically oh in my. a style known as Tejweed. Is that true or is that false? Um, Sister Shiza, did you hear me? Yes. Okay, so could you give me the answer? Because you have 10 seconds left to answer. Okay, okay. Uh, Is the Quran recited melodically in a style known as Tajri? No. No. Are you saying it's false? No, no, this is no, true. No, it's true. Oh, true. it's true. Yeah, yeah. Let's lock it. It's true. And of course, Sister Shiza, you are correct. We do recite the Quran. That's it. In a style known as Tajweed Mullah Rashid. Where are we now? We are now going past Wadi Salam, which is the largest Shia cemetery mm. in the whole entire world. Mm. And we are about to get to our second question. Now, the second question, Sister Shiza, is who is the first Ulul Az? Ulul Az Prophet. Yes. Was it Prophet Muhammad sallallahu mm. alayhi wa Was it Prophet Isa? Was it Prophet Noah? Or was it Prophet Ismail? Mm. Who was the first Ulul Az Prophet? Mm. Ulul Rashid, how many Ulul Az Prophets are there? It's an interesting question. Five. Very, very correct. Hopefully they didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Shiza, again, I need to remind you, there's 15 seconds on the clock. And you do need to give me the answer before. So who is the first Ulul Azm oh. Prophet? Is it Nabi Muhammad, Nabi Isa, Nabi Nuh, or Nabi Ismail? You have five seconds. Okay, um, um. And the answer? Uh... Number, number three. Nabi, number sorry? Three. Number, number three. Number three, Nabi Nuh. Three. Let's look in Nabi Nuh. Yeah. And of course, Sister Shiza, you are correct. Of course, you are correct. And now we take you away from 
Wad Salam, all the way to pole 313 on the walk towards your Mawla Imam Al Hussein, where we are at your gateway to Karbala Imam Hussein TV3 studios. And we ask you, guess the place. We're going to wait for the picture to show up on your screen and you need to tell me what shrine that is. Is it the shrine of Al Kadhumain? Is it the shrine of Imam Al Hussein? Is it the shrine of Imam Al Ali? Or is it the shrine of Imam Al Askariyain? It's not showing yet. Okay, just let me know when it's on your screen, sister. What? Yeah, it's showing now. now. It's showing now. Okay, sister. I need to tell you that we are taking time very strict from now on. So you have 30 seconds on the clock and your 30 seconds have started. So please give me an answer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry? The first one. Like, the first one. one? Okay, she wants to lock in yeah. Imam and call them in. Are you sure? Yeah. Then let's lock that in AV team and see if Sister Shizza was correct. Third step. Yeah. Mulle, that was a tough angle, step. I'm not going to lie. What's the fourth step? But the fourth step is one of my favorite locations. Yeah, 100%. Shout out to whoever has brought a Mercedes van to the walk. 100%. Between no and tires, just rims. No tires, just rims. I'm loving it. One last shout out to the ABT. <laughs> I love how we mention it every yeah, time. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> take it right. Away. The fourth question is, Sister Shazar, the two sons of Adam, as were no, the two Alayhi sons. Salam. Oh, okay. The two sons of Adam alayhi salam were Hadi and Madi. And Madi, Idris and Qarun, Hadil and Ababil, or Habil and Qabil. Who were the two sons of Adam alayhi salam? Number four, four, number four, number four. Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> Full of are you, are you sure? You want to lock in number four? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bismillah. Let's lock it in. Straight in. Let's Mashallah. go. Mashallah. I like the confidence in this one. Yeah, I really <laughs> like it. Flying through. And we now leave the Mercedes van and go <laughs> to one of my favorites, the Mokib, where they're giving out water, drinks. Sister, I think for this question again, we're going to wait for it to appear on your show because it is guess the word. It's a five-letter word um. where you need to guess what the word is correctly. Please let me know when it's on your screen. All uh, right. Uh. Rashid, any idea of what the answer is? Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Has it shown up, Sister Shiza? No, it's not come up yet. All right, we will okay. wait. We'll give a few seconds. Shout out to Newport. Shout out to the Mandis. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, it's come up yet. Right, it's okay. come up. Thirty seconds is on the clock then. Okay, it's Jawad. Jawad. Wow. We wow. don't need to ask her if she's correct. Yeah, let's lock that in, yeah, AB yeah. team. Wow. Sister Shiza, I'm going to be very honest with you. You're on the fifth step, two steps left, and I'm really rooting for you because I want to start the show off with a bang. Allah. Yes. A big bang. <laughs> yes. Theory. Inshallah. Okay. Okay. Right. All right, sister, because there's two steps left, I just need to remind you that we need to be very, very cautious of time. Mullah Rashid, what is the question? Right, the next question is, which city did Imam Hussein alayhi salam spend most of his life? Was it Mecca? Was it Medina? Was it Kufa? Or was it Karbala? What city did Imam Hussein alayhi salam spend most of his life? Your time begins now. Medina. Medina. Number two. Are you sure, sister, you have 20 seconds to confirm your answer? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I heard that we're going to show the results when the 15 seconds is up. Just because we're on vibes today. Yeah, yeah, we're on vibes. We've got time today. Yeah, we yeah. do. <laughs> we've we got do. time today. We do, mashallah, tabarak al Rahman, elif, dam, Allah. I know, I know. Yeah, elif, dam, Sister Shiza, you are correct. <laughs> we now take you to the seventh step, the, final. the holy shrine of Abba Abdullah. Me and Mullah Rashid have a special thing to do here, and it is Hussein Maula, Maula, Hussein Maula, Maula, Hussein Maula, Maula, Hussein Maula, 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 Hussein, Hussein, Maula, Hussein, Hussein, Maula, Hussein, Maula, Sister Shiza, you are going yes. to have a minute to answer this question, but I need to tell you two things. First, 
is that the AV team and me and Mullah Rashid are able to help you by maybe giving you a clue here and there. Actually, AV team, can we give a one right answer just to start off, please? Okay. Second thing is, sister, is that you have to be cautious of the time. If the time runs out and you do not give me your final answer, then unfortunately, you have not passed the seventh step. Mm. Please let me know when the picture has come up on your screen. Yeah, it has come up. Perfect. So, so one minute one is nine. on the clock. Sister Shiza, I would also like to tell you that the clue that I give you is that A is one. Now, give me the rest of the picture. 50 seconds. B and six. B is? No, E is six. E is six. Okay, let's lock okay. that in, AV let's team. Go. All right, next. 35 B, seconds. B, five. B, five. Okay. C four. C four. Okay. D D three. D three. And F two. F F two. Wow! And F two with ten seconds left That's on the clock. Sister Shiza, I would like to be the bearer of good news today, and let you know. That that was the absolute correct answer. Yes. And with that, Mullah Rashid, a quick recitation of <laughs> Salah ala Muhammad. Salah ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allah wa salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. It seems like the Newport community really is putting in the work yeah, on the yeah. mosque that people from their community get the seven steps yeah. correct. Mullah Rashid, any last words for Sister Shiza? Sister Shiza, well done, well done. Inshallah, the team are going to be in contact with you. You not only have won a ring, but your name has been put in a hat where, inshallah, you have the chance to go to Karbala. So stay tuned, inshallah, and you will find out if you have won. It's as simple as that. Well done, congratulations. And inshallah, we'll be in contact. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Send salams to your family. Pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But as I always say, pray for me first. I said. Khadafiz. All right. Started off with a bang. Well, Rashid, I'm actually very happy now. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks like it's going to be a good day. Because yesterday... Yesterday know, upset me, I'm not going to lie. First person, all right, they lost. Yeah. yeah. Second, lost. Yeah, yeah. Third, lost. Fourth, won. Yeah, yeah. I had to wait for four people. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not the one. But My today, heart can't bear this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. But today we started off with a bang. So I think... It's, it's a motivation. It's, 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 so anyone at home watching, you've seen Sister Shiz has done it. So you guys just need to call in. The number is there. It's very simple. Seven questions and you get the chance to go to Karbala. What more do you want? Honestly, if you don't want to go to Karbala, what are you doing in life? Mm. I always ask myself the question, without Najaf and Karbala, what is the worth of my life? Without <laughs> my khidmah, my service, what am I worth? What are you worth? Without Rashid. remembering them, what are you worth? Them. <laughs> <laughs> but Mullah Rashid, let ah. me tell you something about them. Yes. They send us people like, Salam alaikum, they call her. Wa alaikum assalam. MashaAllah. They call her your name and where you're calling from, please. Newport. Wow. Ah. Newport and your name? Ayat. Ayat? Ayat? Hussein. Okay. Okay, she gave the first and second. First and second, why Ayat not? Hussein, why Ayat not? Hussein, I would like to let you know that you're the second caller from Newport. Yeah. The first caller from Newport done us proud. We just want to let you know that all the pressure's on you because you need to do them proud as well. Otherwise, you never know, they might not accept you back in the community after this. <laughs> I can buy one, get one free, when you get another new one. <laughs> um, Sister Ayat, is this your first yes. time watching Seven Steps to Heaven? No. MashaAllah. Short but sweet answers. Yeah. Well, Mullah Rashid, let's take it away. Yeah, let's get straight into it then. Looks like you know what you're doing. So, AV team. Let's go straight to the first step towards heaven, which we are at the shrine. 
of the commander of the faithful, Amir al Mu'mineen, Ali bin Abi Talib, salawatullahi wa salamhu alayhi. AV team, team. something's happening to the graphics, unfortunately. Oh, graphics are back. Yes. That's it. Send salam to your Emir Mullah Rashid. (laughs) Right. The first question, Sister Ayat Hussein, is the Quran emphasizes the importance of charity. Mm. Zakat for Muslims. Mm. Is it true or is it false? True. 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 Okay. All right. I feel like there's. Yeah. Are you sure, Sister Ayat? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's look it in. I really Newport, like. Newport, not messing about. It's just one word answers, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She hasn't said more Any, than one I word. The show's going to be Newport today. Even, even when I asked for her name, she said Ayat. <laughs> Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> one word. One you word. Hussein. <laughs> well, like sister, it. I take you away. From Amir al Mu'mineen, and now I take you to Wadi Salam, the biggest Shia cemetery in the world. And your second question is Where is Imam al Hassan alayhi salam buried? Is it Mecca, Salmarra, Medina, or Kufa? Medina. Wow. Are you sure you want to lock that in? Yes. Okay, well, AV team, let's lock that in. Sister Ayat is very, very, very confident. Yeah, yeah. MashaAllah. And now the second step has finished. Mullah Rashid, where do we go now? We now go to Imam Hussain TV Studios on the walk between Najaf to Karbala at pole number 313. MashaAllah, the number of soldiers that will be with Imam al Mahdi. Allahu Akbar. So. Sister Ayat, you know how this works. It's your third question and the guess the place. So you're going to see a blurry picture when it loads up on your screen. And essentially, out of the four options, you have to tell me which one it is. Is it either Imam Hussein's holy shrine? Is it Hazrat Abbas's holy shrine? Is it Imam Rava's holy shrine? Or is it Imam Ali alayhi salam's holy shrine? It hasn't loaded up yet. Okay, well, we'll wait for you. And whilst it waits, we sing. Ali Mawla Mawla 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 Ali 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 Mawla
what the correct word is. Yes. Will that ask you any idea? Yes, I got it straight away. Okay, I got, I'm I got going. Yeah. I, I would be surprised if you did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three letters are okay, the right yeah, place. Yeah. Say that again, sister. Karbala. Um, it's Karbala. Karbala. It's Karbala. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's lock that in. Ma Sha Allah, Sister Ayat, that was your fifth step done. Sister Ayat, I'd like to let you know that there are two steps left. And if you do win, inshallah, you do win. We're rooting for you. You have won a win. Uh, you have won a ring as well as, inshallah, put into a draw. If you win, a free trip to Karbala. Mudarash, That's it. Is that your question? Is it my question? It is my question. The Prophet belongs to this tribe. Banu Nadir, Banu Hashim, Banu Quraysh, or Banu Quraydha. Mm. Which tribe does the Holy Prophet belong Benu to? Hashim. Banu Hashim. Banu Are Hashim. you sure it's not Banu Quraysh? <coughs> yeah. Okay, well, AV team, can we just lock uh, that in? Um, uh, that's... Incorrect, sah. Benu Hashim is correct. Uh, sister Ayat said Benu Hashim, which I'm pretty sure is the correct answer. I'm pretty sure Benu Hashim. Yeah, yeah. It is <laughs> like. I'm, I think we've made a bit of a mistake, guys. Maybe, but we wait for the AV team to let us know. Don't worry, Sister Ayat. Just one minute. Benu Hashim, no? It's definitely Benu Hashim. It's Quraysh. Oh, for the Rashid, be the bearer of that news, please. Sister Ayat, it is with a heavy heart that um, unfortunately that was the last step before she got that question wrong. Um, however, this is not the end of the road. Like me and Yasser mentioned earlier, we are on four times a week. But guess what, okay. Sister Ayat? <laughs> okay. It seems like Mullah Rashid likes to Scabble. prank you because we will take you to the next step, which is the seventh step. One step away, and again, you have the chance of winning, a chance of getting a ring, a chance of getting to Karabada. So, AV team, let us take Sister Ayat to the sixth, uh, seventh step, which is the shrine of Mola. Um, Al Hussein. Haq. Sister Ayat, again, we need to wait for the image to get up to your screen. Um, and inshallah, if you give me the image correctly in each place, you will win and get a ring made out of the shrine, of the holy shrine, of the shrine, of the holy shrine of Imam Al Hussein. That's it. And it seems like the AV team are so nice to let, let us give you a clue. Uh, Sister Ayat, has the picture come up on your screen? Yes, it has. Okay, so one minute is on the clock. Sister Ayat, I would also like to tell you that E goes to number five. That's the clue I've chosen to give you. Okay, okay, F number six. Say that, say that again, please. F number six. F six. Okay. B1. B1. And D4. D4. Okay. Okay. B1, D4. And. Yep. Okay, you have two left. There's ten seconds left, sister. Please hurry up, please. Okay, A. a yeah. Two. A, a two, two. Which means C goes to number three. Three. That's it. Uh, 
مولا راشد صلوا على محمد وال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد في ايات ذس كويز فور يو had a lot of ups and downs mullah rashid pranked you to say that you are wrong even though you are right and mashallah you got the seventh step correct which means seven steps Thank to you. heaven was a success for you that you will receive a ring made out of the marble of imam hussein alayhi salam's holy shrine as well as being put into a very big hat where if your name is chosen you will go and visit mola hussein inshallah inshallah mullah rashid any last words no, Bismillah. Ali Bismillah. Thank you so much, Sister Ayat. Please pray for me and Mullah Rashid. But as I always say, pray for me first. And Khuda. Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Mullah Salam. Newport is killing it. Li Mola. Newport are, are, are <laughs> yeah. doing a madness right yeah, now. Yeah. MashaAllah. Mullah Rashid, hey. how do you feel that not one, yeah. not three, but two have yeah. one right now. And the first two as well. MashaAllah. I feel very happy. Extravagant, some people would say. Ex who? Extravagant. I said. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word to use right now. But fair enough. You feel fabulous. As, yes, yeah, yeah. I feel absolutely ecstatic. You feel, you feel luxurious. <laughs> Again, it's just... <laughs> it's all right, I forgive you. But no, no, it's very good to know that, you know... You feel the... Huh? The engagement yes. with the actions yes. of feelings. Yes, okay, fair enough. Mm. So English was not your thing. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> it's good to know that, you know, our first two viewers have made it to the end. Mashallah. They are going to be gifted, inshallah, and the, their names are going to be put in the hat. Mm. Everyone at home watching, as you've seen, it's not too hard. It's only seven questions, and you get the chance to go to Karbala. So, call in. We're here for another hour or so. So, there you go. MashaAllah. Um, AV team, is the next caller available? Okay, it seems like they're not. So, Mullah Rashid. Yes. Again, I would like you to take out your phone, please. Huh. And read us a qasida. <coughs> oh. oh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ikram. Saved by the caller. Saved by the caller. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Mashallah, we are very well. Thank you so much for asking us. I think that's the first caller that ever asked how we were. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, <laughs> Nate Caller. Can I ask for your name and where you're calling from? Uh, my name is Sheila and I'm calling from Toronto. Mashallah, our first yes. overseas caller calling all the way from Toronto, Toronto. Canada, USA. And uh, Sister Sheila, I heard? Well, I was yes, yes. Oh, Sheila. Yes, yes. you Perfect. see, that's why you listen, Mullah Rashid. Perfect. Sister Sheila, is this your first time watching Seven Steps to Heaven? Uh, yes, this is actually my first, first time. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Um, before we start, Sister Sheila, I'd like to ask, are you watching on YouTube? Uh, yes, I am watching on YouTube. Perfect. So, Sister Sheila, because you said this is your first time, just to walk you through, Mullah Rashid, what's going to happen? Yes, Sister Sheila, what is going to happen essentially is we are going to ask you seven questions. Mm. The seven questions, okay. some are true and false. Some are, for example, guess the image. Some are guess the word. It's a mix of a few questions. If you make it to the end, you not only will be gifted a ring made from the marble of the shrine of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, but also your name gets put into a hat where you possibly get the chance to go to visit Mawla Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. So, okay. It's as simple as that, Sister Sheila. Um, and it's, yeah, it's very simple, to be fair. So I think we should get straight into it where we're going to start at the shrine of Amir al Mu'mineen at number. One. Mashallah. Sister Sheila, your first question is as follows. The Quran mm -hmm. contains predictions <laughs> about future events. Is that true or false? I'm so sorry. Um, the image is not showing up on, up on YouTube right now. Okay, that's fine. It's not an image yet, sister. It's just a worded question. I ask again. Okay. The Quran contains predictions about future events. Is that true or false? That is true. 
That is true. Okay. Uh, um, that is... That is... Yes. Okay, Sister Sheila. Um, it seems like um, it was false, but in reality, it's true and false, false and true. So we take you away from the shrine of Imam Ali, and we take you to Wadi Salam, the biggest Shia cemetery in the world. Mashallah, Mullah Rashid. Haq. Mullah Rashid, please ask Sister Sheila the second question. <laughs> the second question, Sister Sheila, is... The father of Prophet Suleiman was Prophet Idris, was Prophet Isa, was Prophet Sheath, or was it Prophet Dawood? Who was the father of Prophet Suleiman? It, it's uh, Prophet Dawood. Okay. Nabi Dawood. Okay, number four. Sister Sheila, do you want to confirm that? Um. You have 15 seconds. This, yeah. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm just trying to make sure that you give yeah. me this answer with 100% con confidence. Yeah. Well, let's lock that in. Sister Sheila, mashallah, because you got that question correct, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bury you in the Shia biggest cemetery, which is Wadi Salam. Muna Rashid, yes. would you want to be buried in your home, country, or Wadi Salam? I think being buried in Wadi Salam is a very big blessing, to be honest. It is, it is, because there are very many hadith blessing. of what happens to the people that are buried there. Sister Sheila, I come to you with your third question, which is guess the place. We are going to wait for the image to come up on your screen and for you to tell me where this place is. Is this shrine in, in the Baqiyah Cemetery? Is it in Al Medina? Is it in Karbala? Or is it in Mecca? Okay. Please let me know when it's on your screen. It's, it's uh, number two. Number two, which is Baqir. Sister, sister, yes. sister. Can we put the timer on, please? 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> sister, you have 30 seconds. I want you to look at that image and think. Is that Baqir or is that Medina? Think of what that place is. If you know the answer, where is this place? Where is this person buried? Is it in Medina or is it in Baqir? Maybe I'm helping Medina. you. Maybe Medina. I'm not. Medina. Medina. So you want to change your answer to Medina? Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Let's yes, lock yes, that yes, in. Yes. Yes. Let's lock that in. Yes. Masha Allah. Wala good streak today. Yes. Wala yes. good streak today. And I want to carry on. Sister <coughs> Sheila, just to let you know, no pressure. But the last two callers actually won. And they were from the United Kingdom. So take one home back to Toronto, Canada, USA, New York. Yes. <laughs> take it away. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> right. So we are at our fourth stop where we have an Audi A5 and a Mercedes van. My favorite. Yes, Yasser's favorite. And your fourth question, which is the journey of the Prophet from Mecca to Medina, which marked the beginning of the Islamic calendar, was called Musafirin, mm. Mujahid, mm. Ansar, mm. or was it Hijrah? Mashallah. What was the name of the journey that the Prophet took from Mecca? to Medina. Wow. Excellent question. Sister Sheila, I would like to tell you that you have 20 seconds 20 seconds clock. remaining. You are limited. Yeah, Sister I... Sheila, do you want us to repeat the options for you? Uh, uh, yes, please. Okay, was it Musafirin? Was it Mujahid? Was it Ansar? Or was it Hijrah? You have three seconds. Hijrah. Number four. Number four, Hijrah. Well, let's lock that in. And before we take you to the fourth step, for the first time in my life, I have a question to Mullah Rashid. Mullah Rashid, what Hijri year are we in? We are in 1430. 30? <laughs> no, we As are in 1445, <laughs> which means 1445 years ago, our holy prophet migrated. But with that being said, Sister <laughs> Sheila, been a long day. your fifth question will be asked by moi. And it is, name the uncle of the Nebi who was martyred in the battle of Uhud. 
Was it Hamza? Was it Abu Talib? Was it Abu Talib? Or was it Shayman? <laughs> and just to help you, just to help you, the AV team will take away one of the Abu Talibs. <laughs> <laughs> they actually took <laughs> So was it Hamza? Abu Talib or Shayba? Ham Hamza. Hamza, sister, you have 10 seconds left. Are you sure you want to lock that in? Yes. Then let's do it. AV team, confirm for us and sister Sheila and her family if she is correct. And she is correct. The uncle Ma of the Prophet who was martyred in the battle of Uhud Ma was Hamza. MashaAllah. We now take you away from the fourth. I mean fifth, and we take you to the sixth, which is the studios of Imam Hussein TV three in Karbala. Mashallah. The HQ, i.e. heaven. Oh, then I should ask the New Korea. Huh? Yes. Right. <laughs> the journey undertaken by the Prophet from Mecca to the skies came to be known as either Hijrat, Safarin, Dar Nadwa, or was it Mi'raj? What was the name? Of I say you Jeff? repeat the options for just one last Yeah, time. why not? Is it Mi'raj? Is it Dar Nadwa? Is it Safirin? Or was it Hijrat? You have Sister Sheila about 10 seconds now. Eight, seven, seven six, four. five. Number four. Well, you don't have time, so I'm going to lock that in for you. And Ma Sha Allah Tabarak Ar Rahman, you got that correct. Now, oh, sister, if you look at your screen, we take you to the gates of Mawla Hussein and Mullah Rashid, as always. Hussein Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Hussein Mawla, just start shouting, Mawla, Hussein Mawla. Yes, I'm telling you, I'm going to become a reciter by the end of 2063. <laughs> Sister Sheila, please let me know when the image comes up on your screen. But before that happens, I have some details to give you. Number, the first detail okay. is you will have one minute to answer this question. The second detail is that me and Mullah Rashid like to help you. Yes. Mullah Rashid, can you give her her first guess? Her first guess, right. Uh, what, has it pick one? Yeah, it's already there. <coughs> oh, okay. Right, so your first guess is that number two is D. So D2, your first. Have you seen it on the screen? Yes, I can see it. Perfect. 60 seconds is on the clock. Let's go, Sister Sheila. We're rooting for you. I'll be doing a very okay. light clap as cheer. N number one is B. Number one is B. Bismillah. Set. Number six, six is F. F6. F6. I sent. Okay, 35 seconds on the dot. You got about 25 seconds, by the way, Sister Sheila, not to give you any pressure. But 20 no. seconds remaining. You got this, Sister Sheila. Come you on, this. Sister Sheila, Sister, Sister Sheila, Sheila. <laughs> Sister Sheila. <laughs> Come on, Sister Sheila. You have eight Are seconds. I five? need to answer it. C is five. You said C, uh, C E five. Okay. Four and three. D, D is five. Okay. E is five. Yes. Where is B? Sorry, no, no. C is five. Yes. Yes. You're right. Oh. Okay, and then Sister Sheila, Sister Sheila, Sister Sheila, Sister, Sister Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> no, no, no. A, A is Mula three. Rashid. Please give her. And then C is four. Four. The news. She's Sister so Sheila, awesome. unfortunately, the time ran out, uh, and number five actually was wrong, um, which means that unfortunately, oh. on the last step. Your journey ends here. However, this is not the end of the journey, Sister Sheila. As I say this to everyone, you can still call in. We are back again on Monday. So, you have another chance. So, please don't be disheartened. Call us back. And inshallah, we want you to win. We want you to go to Karbala. So, 
inshallah <laughs> we will see you on another show throughout this beautiful month of the month of Ramadan. Sister Sheila, thank you so much for calling. Please, 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 squared, call back again because you need to bring one home to Toronto, Canada, USA. Please pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But as I always say, pray for me first. Khuda Hafiz. Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Thank you so much for having me. It was our pleasure. Ah, uh, why? I thought we were on a. We're I'm on a really, roll. I'm really upset. I'm really upset because you know that what? last one was a hard one, though. Yeah, it was. A it hard was. One. It was. But you know what? I feel like um, the viewers are not getting one thing right, mm. which is the questions are a bit easy, but they're not looking at the time. There yeah. is a timer for a reason, because if you give Allah us the Allah. answer Allah. after the time. Allah. Your answer will not be taken within, yeah. but rather it will be taken from a thought. And what happens from a thought is that the hope and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stays. <laughs> you are a waffle, you know that. <laughs> but yes, guys, please, 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 I am begging you all. Whoever's going to call in, we've got to stick to the time. We've got to stick please to the stick time. to the time. AV team is screaming in my ear yeah. <laughs> that we have to stick to time, and guys. And you know what? I, I start this conversation by saying, Salam alaikum, dear caller. Do you promise to stay by the time? Yes. <laughs> Say it, speak. wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Allah. Wa wow. alaikum as -salam. That was power. I already know who this is. Huh? Dear caller, please tell me where you're calling from and I'll tell you your name. So you're calling from London? Yes, I am calling from London. And is your name... Is it Maytham? Yes. Oh, oh yes. I'm getting that on the... Wait, is it Sayyid Maytham? Yes. MashaAllah. It's like you've got a deal going on here, huh? No, no. Oh, I should have not done that. Now they're going to think... <laughs> this is a Watch when he wins. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He got paid. Sayyid Maytham, two questions I need to ask you is... Are your family sitting around you for moral support? Yes. Perfect. Second question is, are you ready for the virtual experience of going from Imam Ali's shrine to Imam al Hussein's shrine? Yes. That's well, that. let's start it. Bismillah wa billah wa isma al... Sorry? Husna. That's what I like to hear, Sayyid Maytham. <laughs> your first question is... <laughs> is the Quran contains detailed instructions for performing rituals such as Hajj and Salah? Is this true or is it false? It, it still, still didn't show up. It's fine, it's fine, but did you hear Mullah Rashid's question? Um, yes. So, is it true or false? The it Quran contains detailed instructions for performing rituals such as Hajj and Salah. Is that true or false? True. True. Let's lock that in, AV team. Masha Allah. Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham. Say it, Maytham. Say it, Maytham. Maytham. Say it, Maytham. Maytham. I like that. Say it, Maytham. Say it, Maytham. Your second question is: What did Nabi Musa's staff change into? A very famous story in the Quran. Did it change into a lizard? Did it change into a snake? Did it change into a little weeny caterpillar or did it change into a big fat lion? Snake. 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 Wow. Full of confidence. Confidence, Maytham. Say it, Maytham. Let's say lock it. that in for you. Hella. Hella, let's say it. Let's lock yeah, that yeah, in. Yeah, let's go. And with that, say, say it, it Maytham. Maytham. Say it, 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 Maytham. 
سيد ميثام سيد ميثام سيد ميثام سيد ميثام سيد ميثام ميثام Your fourth oh, yes. question, third question, oh, yes. is as follows. It's guess the place. Yes, guess the place. Say it, Maytham, you need to look at your TV screens and tell me when the picture comes up on your screen. But I'll give you your options now. Is it the holy shrine of Imam Ali? Is it the holy shrine of Imam Hussein? Is it Medina? Or is it Mecca to the care? Can you see it on your screen, Say it, Maytham? Yes. MashaAllah, Tabarak al-Rahman. 30 seconds. Has begun. It is Mecca. It's Mecca? It's Mecca. Are you sure you want to lock that in? 100%. Are you positive? For an extra point, yes. can you tell me what it is? It is the Kaaba. Ah. MashaAllah. And with that, Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham, Sayyid Maytham, Sayyid Maytham. I wanted to see the idol. Oh, oh, sorry. Now we always have to stop when we reach this holy location. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to send the salam <laughs> no, to no, my no. favorite car. <laughs> <laughs> With that, Mullah Rashid, what is yes. Sayyid Maytham's fourth question? Sayyid Maytham, your fourth question. You're doing incredible, by the way. Keep this up. The fourth question is what do we call the angels that write down our deeds? Mm. Is it Mikail? Is it Azrael? Mm. Is, it, is it Kiraman Katibin? Mm. Or is it Najran? What do we call the angels that write down our deeds? For those that don't know, I've lost my voice <laughs> early on this week. So <laughs> this is why slowly, it's probably by the end of the uh, show, I think it's uh, just going to It go. is Kiraman Katibin. Kiraman Katibin. You know what I like about Sayyid Maytham? He's the only contestant that doesn't ask when he answers, but it, it is as if he's telling us. Mm. It is <laughs> Karam and Katabin. Let's lock that in, AV team. And with that, Mullah Rashid. Sayyid Maytham. 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 Mullah Sayyid Sheikh Taj Al Ras Sayyid Maytham. Please let me know again when we appear on your screen because the fifth question is Oof. guess the word. What is the word we are asking for? Do you know the word? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I just got it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Oh, you still don't know? Just, oh, no. Yeah, just waiting for it to. No, get say it there, you take your it's time. It's where I'm going in Iran. Good hint. Good hint. Say it, Maytham, if you were listening. It's a nice little hint there for it you. It is mesh, mesh head. Allahu Akbar. Mesh head. <laughs> Let's lock that in. And indeed, we can confirm that it is mesh head. Say it, Maytham. Say it, Maytham. Say it, Rashid. Yes, sir, man, sir. Yes, sir, Rashid. This is Maytham Ali. Oh, ah, Sayyid Maytham Ali. It's Maytham Ali. We apologize, yeah. Sayyid Maytham Ali, from the bottom of our hearts. But good news for you, we are at the IHTV3 studios in Karbala. And we ask you, name the group of six people who were sleeping in a cave. Was it Ashab Al-Feel? Is it, oh no, no, sorry. Is Ashab. it Ashab Al-Feel? Is it Ashab Al-Kahf? Is it Ashab Al-Shams? Or is it Ashab as Sahla? 30 seconds on the clock, Sayyid Maytham. Let's go. I'll wait for your answer, Sayyid Maytham Al Ali Min Ali Muhammad. Ya Allah. It is Ashab Ashab Kahf. Ashab Al Kahf. Are you sure yes. you want to lock that in, Sayyid Mullah Maytham? Yes. Then, Mullah Rashid, okay. we are going to lock that in. We are going to lock that in. It's green. He is right. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Sayyid Maytham. Sayyid Maytham, we now go to the holy shrine of Mawlaq wa Mawlai, Abi Abdullah al-Hussein, virtually, of course. 
and your final question is up. As I like to say, you have one minute to answer this question, not 30 seconds. And we will give you a hint. And the hint I give you is by putting C in the correct place. It's, it's like, like it's still showing you, you um, uh, at the last question. That's fine. That's fine. We'll wait for it. We'll wait for it. We'll not rush it. Hey. Uh, you mean C is yeah. yeah. Okay. C is 2? I have given you C is 2. Okay? Mm. Keep that in mind. Hadiya, minni ilek, Sayyidna. Can you see it, Mullah uh, uh, Sayyid uh, Maytham? Yes. Perfect. One minute is on the clock. You should have never told me that. Sayyid Maytham, <laughs> please tell me the answer. Ya Allah, Sayyid. A is six. A six. A six. Okay. A six. D one. D one. He's so much conviction. I love it. It's just <laughs> full of conviction. He's like, I tell you now, this one yes. is that one. Yes. <laughs> 40 seconds left, St. Matham, let's pick up the pace. B3. B to the number three. Ahsent. 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 Halab Sayyid. It is? Which one? Sayyid, by the way, you have 15 seconds, just letting you know. F4. 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 Which means? And, and then E five. Masha Allah. Sayyid Maytham has got that's correct. Sayyid Maytham Ali. Hey, Sayyid Maytham Ali. Sayyid Maytham Ali. We do a salawat in the name of you and Salla your family. Salla Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allah salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Sayyid Maytham Ali, congratulations to you and your family for you have won a ring made out of the marble of Imam al Hussein. Salamullah alayhi. And you will be put into a draw. That's if you do win, you will be invited to the holy shrine of Mawlaq al Hussein salamullah alayhi in Karbala. Thank you so much for calling. May Allah Inshallah. bless you and your family. And as I always say, pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. Pray for the AV team. But make sure you pray for me pray first. For first. And with those words, Fi Aman Fi Aman Allah. Allah Sayyid. Absolutely smashed it. As-salama. Smashed it, Sayyid. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. I knew, I knew there was some funny business going on here. Alif Lam Ara. Tilka. I know it, I know it. Yalla. Tilka Ayat. Kitab. Yalla. Right then, we're just going to go straight to it. Oh, we yeah, yeah. Callers are, callers are flying now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahma wa ikram to our dear caller. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hala, hala, hala bin Nishama. Dear caller, before I ask for your name or before I ask where you're calling from, I want you to promise me right here, right now, that for the seven steps that you're going through, you will adhere to the time clock. Inshallah. Inshallah. Insha With that, your name and where you're calling from, please. My name is Mohammed Ihsan and I am from, from Copenhagen, Denmark. Oh, yes. MashaAllah. I think that. that's one of our first calls. It is from that from time, from that time, from that area of the world. From that region of the world. Hey. Um, brother Mohammed Ihsan bin Ali Mohammed, what time is it in Copenhagen right now? Oh, it's, it's uh, zero, no, it's, it's zero one three two. I don't, I don't know how to say it. Zero one three two. MashaAllah. So you are one hour ahead of us. Brother yes. Muhammad, is this your first time uh, watching or rather joining Seven Steps to Heaven? Yes. MashaAllah. Okay, Said. so Brother Muhammad Hussain, Mullah Rashid, one of the best in the game will explain to you what will happen here today. Yes, Sayyidna. So, what is going to happen essentially is you have seven questions. It's a mixture of a true and false, some guess the word, guess the picture. Um, and you basically have to give me the right answers. You get all the answers correct, and your name gets put into a hat where you have the chance, Brother Muhammad, to go to Karbala. But that's not it. That is a very big prize in itself. 
However, you also get a ring made from the marble of the shrine of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. So it's as simple as literally seven questions. You get them right and you win. So without further ado, if it's come up on your screen now, Muhammad, let's get straight into it. Just to confirm, has it come up on your screen? Can you see the first question? Yes. Perfect. So question number one. Mr. Yasser. Is the Quran contains a chapter named after the family of Nabi Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his family. Is that true or is that false? That, that's false. That's false. The Quran yeah. contains a chapter named after the family of Nabi Muhammad. Are you sure? Yeah, yes, that's false. We're going to have to lock that in. And unfortunately, Brother Muhammad Hussein, that was true. But from the beautifulness of the AV team and the niceness of my heart, I put you through to the second step anyways. Because I love Copenhagen Allah. and I love Denmark. Allah. No worries. It's the pleasure. It's my pleasure. <laughs> so, uh, can I, can I can know which... Sorry? Can I know which, which surah? Which surah is named after the family? So there are two narrations, my brother. The first narration <coughs> says that Surah Al Imran is named after the family of Rasulullah. And it my is said that Surah Yasin is about Rasulullah and his family. Inshallah. And inshallah, through this month, we get closer to the Holy Quran. But with that being said, Mullah Rashid, yes. ask Brother Muhammad Hussein the second question. Yes. And can we also ask that we get a bit closer because we cannot read the question. Brother Muhammad, on to the second question, which is, who was the, the father of Prophet Yahya? Was it Prophet Ishaq? Was it Prophet Idris? Was it Prophet Zakaria? Or was it Prophet Ayyub? Who was the father of Prophet Yahya? Your time begins now. Any idea of the answer? I think, I think it's the Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam. Alayhi salam. You have 15 seconds. Are you sure you want to lock in that answer? Yes, inshallah. Inshallah, Tabarakar Rahman, AV team, let's lock that. In. And of course, Brother Muhammad Hussein, you are correct. Killing it. MashaAllah, he's killing it. Killing. And there is no tomorrow. Allahu Akbar. But guess what? InshaAllah, there is a tomorrow. And it shall be the 6th of Ramadan. <laughs> and with that, I say, Shah. Shahru Ramadan, Ramadan, Shahru Ramadan, Allah, Ya Ramadan. Ya. Brother Muhammad Hussein, oh. again, you yeah. want to look at your screen because this is one of my favorite questions, which is guess the reciter. And I ask you, is it Mullah Basim Al Karbalai? Is it Mullah Farhan Ali Waris? Is it Mullah? Mir Hassan Mir, or is it Mullah Nadim Sarwar? The best in the game, of course, from each of their categories. Mm. MashaAllah, Tabarak Al Rahman. Can you see it on your screen, brother? Yeah, yeah. And that is Mullah Abdalai, Radiallahu Ta'ala. Okay. Even Radiallahu uh, Anna on Mullah Basim, of course, Radiallahu <laughs> Anna. Uh, the original. Sorry? He's the original. Of course. The king of the game. King. And you were correct, my brother. And with that being said, we take you to the Audi A5. Allah. And Mullah Rashid's dream car, the Mercedes van. And your question is... Name the wife of the Holy Prophet and the mother of Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. Is it Bibi Maryam? Is it Bibi Hajra? Or Bibi Asiya? Or Bibi Khadija? Name the wife of the Holy Prophet, <coughs> the mother of Bibi Fatima 
سيدة خديجة عليه السلام سيدة خديجة بيبي خديجة حلوية خديجة بيبي اوكي ما شاء الله جي ليتس لوك ذات ان فور براذر محمد الحسيني كومينج فروم كوبنهاجن ون اوف اور فريندز از فروم كوبنهاجن وان يس اند دي اكشلي شير ذا سيم سيرفي يس الحسيني يا يا شاء الله براذر علي Brother Ali, mashallah, legend in the game from legend. Copenhagen. May Allah bless him and his family. With that being said, we go to the fifth step, one of my favorites. And again, if I'm not mistaken, you'll have to look at your screen for this is Guess the Word. Uh, 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 uh. Um, Brother Muhammad Al Husseini, can you see it on your screen? Um, no, not yet. Okay, that's fine because we will wait, of course, for we are followers of the Ahlul Bayt, and the Ahlul Bayt teach us to be kind to one another. That's it. For this is Shahrul Ramadan, Aladi. Aladi Unzil Fihi Al Quran, Hudan. I can see it. Mashallah. So it's guess the word. The letters are I M A H L U B A. Do you know the word? Interest. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit. I'm a bit stuck here. Oh really? Yeah. This is a. This is a uh, it starts with it starts M. With the M. You should get that now. Come on. How? How? What are you saw? Uh, can you give me the word, brother? I think I don't know this one, actually. I'm you very... have five seconds to give me an answer, or unfortunately, you have not passed the test. You have four, three, two, one, zero. Brother Muhammad Hussein, unfortunately, you did not get the word. The word was Mubahila. One of the oh. great Shi'i Eids that we have and celebrate. Mm. Brother Muhammad Husseini, Mullah Rashid has something he wants to tell you. Brother Muhammad, it's uh, with great sadness that unfortunately your journey on this show tonight ends here. However, it doesn't end here totally because you have the chance to um, join us on future shows. We are live on a Monday. We're live on a Wednesday. We're live on a Friday. And we're live on a Saturday. MashaAllah. Where, inshaAllah, even if you, you, know, you haven't gone through, you still have the opportunity to call back again and to win. And to get the chance to go to Karbala. So don't worry about it, Muhammad. Do not be disheartened. It's okay. InshaAllah, we look forward to hearing your voice on another show, inshaAllah, later on Insha in the week. InshaAllah. Take ma, ma. care of yourself, and inshallah, we'll see you soon. And Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. With that, Khuda. viewers, we've had some winners, some losers, but we will be taking a short break so that you can quickly get your snacks, get the popcorn, get the drinks, kiss your children goodnight because it's very late yeah, they and they should be in bed. <laughs> Hold your horses. We'll be back in one, two, three less minutes. Well, Rashid, say few more to the man. Fiyam ala Allah al-Karim. Inshallah, we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. Do not leave us. We'll be back very soon. Bye bye. I ask you all to support Imam Al Hussein TV for the future of your youth, for the future of Shiaism. Every single person's life is dependent on your education. And Imam Hussain TV provides you a free Islamic education. If you want to have good programs, if you want to have a source to help your community, your children, your families, do not hesitate. This is the month of rewarding. This is the month of istighfar, the month of khayrat. Imam Hussain is a name that unites us all. And this is the one area where we can put aside our differences and come together. I hope that the viewers at home will help donate to the channel and to build a platform for the future generations. 
I stand here before you, my dear brothers and sisters, to invite one and all to donate generously to ensure that the message of Ahlul Bayt والسلام, is kept alive. Beautiful programs we have. One of that program is Shia Voice. The Shia Voice try to bring up talented from east, from west, from north, from south. But to show this, to make this program, it needs your donation, your generous donation. Please help, please support Imam Hussein TV. We need your generous support. With your support, there could be more documentaries. With your support, there could be more programs. With your support, Shia Voice may come to your community. We cannot continue this without your generous donations. In this holy month of Ramadan, a month of charity, a month of giving, a month of generosity, come together, join us on Imam Hussein TV, and generously donate as you always have done, so we may continue to provide programs which serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course the holy household. Action! Assalamu alaikum wa rahma wa ikram. As I said, we're back. We, hopefully we gave you just enough time to go get your snacks, some water, some refreshments. Kiss the kids goodnight. Kiss your parents. Fima Allah. Mullah Rashid. Yes. How has the show been so far? The show so far, I think, has been pretty good. Um, we've had a few wins. We've had a few losses. Mm. Um, however, you know, the show is going good so far. I'm in a good mood today. So I think um, we are going to let a few things possibly slide. Oh, wow. But, um, I want people to win. That's the thing. I want people, um, as much people to win as possible. Me too, to be honest with so, you. I'm right Allah, there with you. We, will, um, we look forward to hearing all of your voices. And straight in, we've got another caller on the line. So we're going to go straight to it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Caller, can you please give us your name and where you are calling from? Yes, my name is Hamid Hassan. I'm calling from Montreal. Montreal, Montreal. Ascent, ascent, brother. How are you doing today, Ramadan Kareem? I hope Ramadan is going well for you. Yes, everything is good. Thank you very much, much Ramadan Kareem, for you guys also. Um, you uh, brother, much. just remind me of your name, sorry? Hassan, Hassan. Brother Hassan, the most important question that I like to say is the true first step is what did you have for iftar today? <laughs> Iftar, uh, I uh, I ate like like uh, with friends, so so it was a mix of food like chicken and and the uh, tuman uh, gilla and Oof. everything. What, my favorite rice, yeah. mashallah. May Allah bless you yeah. and may Allah bless your family, brother Thank Hassan. You very much, you too. Is, I'm going Thank to you start the show straight away by putting you virtually in front of the door of Mola. Ali alayhi salam and I ask you the first question inshallah yes mashallah the view of Mawla Ali shrine is beautiful and the first question is as follows the Quran mentions the story of Prophet Musa and his confrontation with Fir'aun is it true or is it false? Is it true? It's true. Indeed, you are correct, brother Hassan. For it was mentioned in Surah. Mullah Rashid, can you tell me what Surah was? <coughs> uh -huh. It was mentioned in Surah. So, sorry, sorry, what's the question? Sorry? Nothing, nothing. Ah, ta. No, we were just letting you know. True, yes. We were just letting you know, Brother Hassan, that you were correct, of course, because it, indeed it was mentioned in Surah Taha. And now yes. we tell you the second question asked by the beautiful reciter Mullah Rashid, and he says, The second question, Brother Hassan, is who built the Kaaba? Was it Prophet Isa? Was it Prophet Ibrahim? Nabi Ibrahim. Prophet Ibrahim. Wow, okay. <laughs> he doesn't even want to know the option. I'm sorry. He knows the answer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mashallah, brother Hassan. I, I don't know what's your name. <laughs> oh, yes, let's quit playing. Let's go. <laughs> I really like Let's go, let's go. Brother Hassan, it seems like you're full of entry. 
Sorry? It seems like you are full of energy. It seems like the Montreal weather today in Canada, USA was beautiful. And I'll ask you the third question, which is indeed, guess the place. We'll wait for the image to pop up on your screens. And uh, please let us know when it does. So we ask you the question. But I can yes. give you the options, which are, is it the holy shrine of Hazrat Ma'asuma? Is it the holy shrine of Imam Hussein? Is it the holy shrine of Al-Kadhameen? Or is it the holy shrine of Imam Ridha? With, with Imam Ridha. Imam Ridha. Bismillah yes. billah. Indeed, you are correct. <coughs> uh, Brother Hassan from Montreal, USA. And with that being said, we take you to the Audi A5. Ahsan. Where your question will be asked by the one, the only, the left. By the, the way, right. Montreal, Montreal, it's not in the USA. It's in Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> I know, Brother Hassan, it's just an inside joke. I thought you would laugh. Oh, okay, okay, but okay, instead, okay. you correct. He's not missing a belt, bro. Huh? He's not messing about. Not messing about. Don't, don't give quit him these play. jokes, bro. Quit you better quit playing, brother. Because the next question for you, <laughs> brother Hassan, is uh, Nebi She was the son of which Nebi? Was it Nebi Adam? Nebi Adam. Adam, Adam yes. <laughs> Okay. Well, we're going to lock that in because it seems like USA has beautiful cities, but nothing can match to Montreal in Canada. Ascent. Mullah Rashid, we now take him away from the fourth yeah. step and we throw him to the deep end. Which Straight is to the Mokib at poll number 340, which is essentially this question now is guess the word, Brother Hassan. Uh, we are going to give you a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word and you have to tell us what it spells. Let us know, please, when that pops up on your screen. Let me see just one, one second. No worries, no worries. Let us know, let us know. Let it go, let it go. Allahu Akbar. Take me, let it go. By the way, just quick shower, your dishdasha looks fantastic. Mullah Rashid. Okay, so. Shout out to your dishdasha. Because it's beautiful La. and made by the great brothers in East London. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, brother Azim. I think it's Sadaqa. Uh, wow. Are you are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure, I brother Hassan? Uh, Have no. a think about it. Have a think about it. Looks like Al Aqsa, if I'm not mistaken. Four, no, no, three, <laughs> two, uh, one. Indeed, we will have to confirm your first answer, which was Sadaqah. And you were Sadaqah. correct. Yeah, okay. Allah. <laughs> and with you. that, we do a quick uh, joke between me and Mullah Rashid, which is nothing because we will take you straight to the sixth step which is the headquarters of Imam Hussein TV3 right in front of the shrine of Mawla Hussein and with that being said we do a tune of Muhammad oh. Hassan <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking part in this <laughs> with that uh -huh. we take you to the sixth what step happened? inshallah Right. Okay, before we take you to the sixth step, uh, Brother Hassan, let me ask you a couple questions. How's the weather so far in uh, Montreal, USA, Canada? Uh, it's, it's good now. It's, uh, it's uh, getting warmer, so it's fine. Mashallah, Mashallah. Like and um, do you have, are you married? Do you have kids? Yeah, yeah, I have one, one daughter, Miriam. Mashallah, Mashallah. 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 Hello, yeah, Miriam. How old are you? Hello, yeah, Miriam. We'll skip that question. As it's the fifth day of Shah Ramadan, I want to ask you, Brother Hassan, what's one thing you look to get out of Shah Ramadan this year? Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of goals that I try to, to, to get, but I, I would say probably changing, changing my uh, nutrition habits, so probably I'll, mm. I'll try to eat less. You try to eat less? MashaAllah, Tabarak Ar-Rahman, you try to eat less, whilst me and Mullah Rashid try to eat, <laughs> eat more. <laughs> uh, Brother Hassan, with that being said, the sixth step is ready, and I ask you, Nabi Musa, alayhi salam, married which prophet's daughter? Was it uh, Nabi Yaqub? Yes. 
Was it Nabi Shu'aib? Was it Nabi Idris? Shu'aib. Shu'aib, I can't even finish my sentence. <laughs> MashaAllah. He doesn't want you to finish it. Yeah, just, yeah. just straight and in. By the way, I love it, Baba Hassan, because it seems like Montreal sun kissed you today. And we ask Thank the you. AV team to confirm if that is correct. And Mullah Rashid, was that correct or incorrect? It was most certainly correct. MashaAllah, Tabarak Rahman. We now take you to Bain al Haramain at the gates of the holy shrine of Mawla Hussein. <coughs> ya Allah, Ya Allah. Hussein Mawla, 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 Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Imam Hassan, of course. Um, Fez? Fez, of course. Fez. Baba Hassan. The last question yes. is the puzzle, where we give you a set of six pictures in the incorrect order, and we ask you to put it back in chronological order. Ahsan. Can you please tell me if you see the image on your screen and when you see the image on your yeah. screen? I, I see them. So the first one is, uh, let's say, uh, first one is E. That, no, so I'm going to help you out. F is one. Oh, okay, so the other, the other side. Okay, so F is, is the last one, no, the first no, one. If you want to do it the other way, you can do it the other way. Yeah, I'll start from from six. So basically, uh, the first number six, it's number E. All right, E Number six. five, it's A. Five A. Four. Four, it's D. D four. And uh, uh, three, it's. It says C and then B and then uh, F. Masha Allah. Maybe one of the quickest answers we've ever been given ever. Ever. Masha Allah. Brother Hassan, I can confirm to you that that was correct. Yes. Masha Allah. Tabarak al Rahman. And with that, Sallu ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Brother Hassan, please go tell your family that you today on Sunday the 17th, 17th of, of March, March. <laughs> one seven steps to heaven, you will receive a beautiful ring to inshallah wear on your right hand made out of the marble of Mawla Hussein's shrine as well as your name will be put into a drawer and if your name is Thanks. chosen, uh -huh. you are the lucky winner going to Karbala. Ahsan. Inshallah. My hometown. Inshallah. Inshallah. Congratulations. Thank you so much for calling Ahsan. us. Please pray for me. Thank you. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But of course, pray for me first. And good night. Ma salam. Ma salam. Brother Ahsan. Mullah Sheikh Ibn Sheikh. Huh? King nah. Rashid. Haidar Rashid, Haidar Ali Abbas. How do you feel that a brother from Montreal called in and won? It makes me feel very happy. Uh, he was very, very confident. Mm. So he knew what he was doing. Mm. He was talking about, he flew past it. Um, and you know, that's, that's, that's the kind of things that we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, I want to tell the viewers something, which is Assalamu Alaikum, dear caller. Assalamu Alaikum, dear caller. Can you hear me? Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum, Assalamu Alaikum, wa Alaikum. Dear caller, your name and where you're calling from? Uh, my name is Serena Hussein, and I'm calling, calling from London. MashaAllah, Sister Serena, welcome to Imam Hussein TV3, welcome to 7 Steps to Heaven. Um, before we start, I would like to ask you, are you watching on YouTube? Yes, I am. It is lagging a bit, a bit. Alhamdulillah, that's fine, that's fine. Inshallah, we'll wait for it to get better for you. But the first question is a worded question. So Inshallah, if you listen to my voice, you will get the... The gist okay. of it. No, the gist no of it. I take you to the holy doors of 
Imam Ali alayhi salam's shrine. And I ask you your first <laughs> question, which is... The Quran permits the use of a riba, interest in financial transactions. Is that true or is that false? Sorry, could you repeat that, that question? Of please? course I can. The question is, the Quran permits, allows the use of interest in financial transactions. Is that true or is that false? I believe it is false. It is false. Are you sure, Sister Serena? Yes. Well, because you're sure, you are correct. MashaAllah, Tabarakar Rahman. And with that being said, we now take you to Wadi As Salam, which is what, Mullah Rashid? Which is Wadi As Salam, which is the largest Shia cemetery in the whole wide world. Well, inshallah, we are now about to load our second question, which is the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was attempted, was attempted to be assassinated in what area? Was it Aqaba? Was it Najd? Was it Hijaz? Or was it Tihama? The Prophet was attempted to be assassinated in what area? Sister Serena, just to confirm, has that come up on your screen? Yes, it has. Perfect. Well, you have 15 seconds on the clock. Inshallah, you can give us the correct answer before then. So you can go to the next step. I am guessing it is, is uh, Hijaz, number three. You're guessing, which is absolutely fine. And we'll lock that in. And unfortunately... That was the incorrect answer. The incorrect answer. answer. Oh. Damn, Sister Serena calling all the way from London. Yeah. Mullah Rashid, give her the good news. The good news, Sister Serena, is that this is not the end of your journey. Essentially, we are live four times a week. And to confirm, they are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, where you have the chance to call back in again and answer some more questions. And inshallah, you have the chance to be victorious. So don't worry. Do not be disheartened. This is not the end of your journey. You can still call back in on Monday when we are back live. And inshallah, you can have a chance to win. So... Thank you very much, Sister Serena. We really do appreciate it. And inshallah ta'ala, we look forward to hearing your voice again very soon. Inshallah. Yes, any Thank final you. words? The final words is, please, Sister Serena, pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But more importantly, pray for me first. And with that, please call again Khoda Hafiz. With that being said... Ah. We don't have a break, we don't talk to each other, but rather we start by sending peace and blessings upon the caller. Assalamu alaikum dear caller, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can. Wa alaikum salam. MashaAllah. Dear caller, your name and where you're calling from? Uh, my name is Lejane, I'm calling from Michigan, Michigan. MashaAllah. Sister Lejane, first caller from the United States of... America. America. You were going to say Canada, innit? <laughs> yeah, you were going to say Canada. I was going to say the United States of Canada, <laughs> but Mullah Rashid did not <coughs> say my joke. Sister Lejane, um, uh, is this your first time watching Seven Steps to Heaven? Uh, uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Well, I've, I've caught, well, I've watched you guys, but this is, this is the first time I'm participating. I, I didn't. Can you say that again, sorry? I've watched you guys, but this is the first time I'm participating. Of course, of course, I know that because I have memorized every participant. But because you've watched the show, <laughs> that means you know how it runs. So, inshallah, yeah. uh, you are watching on YouTube, correct? I'm sorry? Are you Can watching you on YouTube? Yeah, I am. Perfect. So, essentially, I'm going to take you from the doors of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, huh? uh, Imam al-Ali alayhi salam, all the way to the door of Imam al Hussein. Of course, this is all virtually because I do not have any teleportation powers. Sister Jane from the United States of Canada, your first question is as follows. The Quran was written by Nabi Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, himself. Was that true or false? 
the Holy Quran was written by Nabi Muhammad himself. Is that true or is that false? Uh, it's false. It's false. You have 15 seconds on the clock. Do you want to lock that in? I do, I do. Well, Sister Jane seems confident. Yeah. So AV team, punch that in and let's see if her confidence was correct. Let's go. It is false, true. It is false, which means for you, it was true. Sister Jane, that was the first step. Mullah Rashid will now take over, taking you to... Wad salam which is the largest Shia cemetery in the whole wide Way world. I said, I said, I said. Your second question, Sister Jane, is what was the name of the last battle of the Holy Prophet? Was it the Battle of Trench? Was it the Battle of Hunayn? Was it the Battle of Khaybar or was it the Battle of Tabuk? What was the name of the last battle of the Holy Prophet? Tabuk. Sorry, Tabuk. <laughs> Sister Lejain, I just want to help you out and give you a lifeline. With that being said, AV team, can we remove one of the incorrect answers? Sister Lejain, I've now removed Battle of Khaybar. So now the three options you have is was it the battle of the trenches was it the battle of Hunayn, or was it the battle of tabuk or how will the russian like to say it tabuk um i think it's four you think it's number four which is the battle of tabuk yeah. you have no time so we're going to have to punch that in and indeed you are correct sister lejane mashallah be upon you and your family with that being said I take you now away from the Wadi of Salam and take you to poll 313 where inshallah you will one day reach in the walk of Arba'in and you are going to be asked by me guess the place I'll wait for the image to appear on your TV screen but I ask you what is this place? Is it the holy shrine of Hazrat Abbas? Is it the holy shrine of Imam Al Hussein? Is it the holy shrine of Imam Al Radha? Or is it the holy shrine of the one and only the Mawla Imam Ali alayhi salam? Um, I think this is the shrine of Imam Hussein thing. Before we take that in, you have. Can we get the thirty seconds on the clock, please? 30 seconds on the clock sister please look at the image and uh try to see what shrine that is and i asked the av team is there a lifeline can i remove one mm. we okay. now have removed one so your three options are the holy shrine of imam Hussein, the holy shrine of imam brother or the holy shrine of imam ali you have 10 seconds i think it's the imam ali, ali. the holy shrine of imam ali the shrine of imam ali are you sure Yes. Oh, confidence again. Okay, was that right, Mullah Rashid? It was right. It was? Huh? No. No? Ah, Sister Lejane, unfortunately, that was in. It wasn't, no. Nah, I'm joking. That was correct. We now take you away okay. from the third step, <laughs> and we take you to the fourth step, where you'll be asked by Mullah Rashid <laughs> the following question. Yes, the following question, Sister Lejane. Will be asked. Out, shout out to the Mercedes. Shout out to the Mercedes. Shout out to the Mercedes. And to the Audi A5. <laughs> to the random Audi A5 in Iraq. Whose idea was to build the trench during the battle Oof. of the trench? Oof. Was it Miqdad? Was it Amar bin Yasser? Was it Salman al Farisi or was it Abu Dhar? This might be one of my favorite questions. Thank you so much to the AV team for putting that in. Sister, please tell me when the question appears on your TV. Um, can we, uh, the, 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 the clock, the clock, can we, clock, clock. Okay, okay. Um. Rashid, any idea what the answer is? I've got an idea. This is my favorite question. I've got an idea, yes. Because I visited uh -huh. this place and I read. Oh, really? Yes. I don't think I visited this place. You didn't? I don't think I have. No, I didn't. I think. Okay, yes, sister. I think it's for number two. Number two. Ammar ibn Yasser. 
before we lock that in, are you sure? Just think about it. Yeah. Well, it can't, was it Miqdad, was it Abu Dhar, was it Salman or was it Ammar? Unfortunately, is it, is it, uh, is it, uh, Jane, I've had to confirm your answer because you ran out of time. Uh, Mullah Rashid, I can't do this one. It will break my heart. Why, why am I always a bearer of bad news? Why is it always me? Please, don't make this longer. Sister <laughs> Jane, unfortunately, this is the end of the road for you. Uh, the answer, the correct answer was Salman Farisi. Um, however, Sister Jane, Good news. all the yes. way from Dearborn, Michigan, one of my favorite places yeah, yeah. where the Shia have combined. Essentially, just Edgware Road. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. For those yeah. that know London, um, <laughs> just Edgware Road, basically. This is not the end of the road for you, Stella Jane, because we are live four times a week, and you can call in again, um, and you can take part once again, and you can win. Exactly. So please do not be disheartened. Don't think this is the end. I want you to call back. I yes. want you to win. Yes. So, inshallah, we look forward to seeing um, you back in the show over the next week oh, or so. And um, yeah, inshallah, you're going to win next time. Inshallah. inshallah. Thank you so much, Sister Jane, for calling us. Please, please, please do call again. And as I always say, pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But more importantly, pray for me first. Say salam to your family. And with that, I say, Fi amanullah. Khoda ha fiz. Mullah Rashid, that ah, was a close one. That was that close. Was a very close one. Sister Jane calling all the way from Michigan, United States of Canada, mashallah. <laughs> she did not get it all the way, but as you saw, viewers, they can call again. You can call again. And even if you don't get it the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, we are live for the next God knows how many days yep. of Shah Ramadan. So if you didn't get it today, call in on Monday. Do you get it on Monday? Call in on. Wednesday. If you didn't get it on Wednesday, call in on. Friday. If you didn't get it on Friday, call in. Saturday. And if you didn't get it on Saturday after four tries, let's just be real. Don't be <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. That was no. a joke. <laughs> call again. Your chances are unlimited. And I asked yeah. the AV team. But if, if after four times, peak. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, my, please just, call. If, it, if after four times you still haven't won, <laughs> drop a little message and I'll try and remember. We'll sort it out for you. We'll sort it out for you. Somehow. It was just something. Um, right. But we've got our next caller. Oh, mashallah. So we're just going to go straight to the next caller. Caller on the line. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please give us your name and where you are calling from. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Amir and I'm calling from Northwest London. Amir calling from North West London. Ahsent, Ahsentum Amir. How uh, was your iftar today? Alhamdulillah, it was good. We had, we had msakhana. How was yours? What, what did you have? Um, I, I had a range of things, to be honest. Uh, Alhamdulillah, my mom made a very nice iftar. Um, so, yeah. I'm... May Allah bless your mother's hands. Ilahi Ameen, Ilahi Ameen. And lengthen her life. Ilahi Ameen, Ilahi Ameen. make her proud. <laughs> Brother Amir, from all the way from Northwest London, the best place in London. Mullah Rashid, would you disagree? Yes, East London is the best. East London is not the best and the viewers know. But <laughs> let's go to the first step, which is the shrine of the best creation after Rasulullah, Imam Ali, alayhi salam. And your first question will be asked by the one and only the small humble servant. Ya Sir al Hilfi. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> and I ask you, Brother Amir, the Quran condemns oppression and injustice. Is that true or is that false? Is it false or is it true? Or maybe it's all true and it's all false at the same time. Can't confuse me, man. <laughs> it's no need. Allah's no need. <laughs> The Quran con condemns oppression and injustice. And, and injustice. Uh, is that true? I, th I think the answer is true. It's true. Well, let's lock that in and see if it was false or true. Or false, false, and never true, true to yourself. So, let's lock that in, AV team. Mullah Rashid, take it away. That is true, brother Amir. Straight in, straight in. We're going to go to the second. Question where you join us from Wadi Salam, the largest Shia cemetery in the whole wide world. 
Inshallah. So, second question, Brother Amir. What miracle of Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Holy Quran? Was it talking to all creations? Was it splitting the moon? Was it traveling through the universe? Or was it reviving the dead? What miracle of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is mentioned in the Quran? Brother Amir, when you are ready, my friend. Ooh, um, um, split, split between splitting on the moon and tra traveling through the universe. Well, you're going to have uh, to pick one, my friend, because there is I'm, 15 I'm gonna seconds. Go, go. I'm going to say split, splitting of the moon. Lock that in, please. Lock that in? Wow, don't even need to ask if you're sure. <laughs> AV team, Great you like heard that. Brother Amir. Let's lock that in. Quick and fast, please, before we get rushed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Brother Amir, indeed, that was correct. Splitting of the moon was mentioned in the Quran. The holy miracle done by the holy prophet himself. We now take you to poll 3, Wahid 3. Where your gateway to Karbala is stationed. And we ask you the beautiful question of, guess this shrine. I'll wait for the image to come up on your screens. But before that, I give you your four options, which is, is it the holy shrine of Hazrat Abbas? Is it the holy shrine of Imam al Hussein? Is it the holy shrine of Al-Askariyin? Or is it the holy shrine of Al-Kazumayn? Just to confirm, Amir, can you see the picture on your screen? Um... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I can see it now. Okay, perfect. So the timer starts now. Uh, and yeah, when you're ready, bro, give us an answer. Hello, Sheikh. Hello, Misham. Hello, 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 Hello? Yes. Hello? Sorry. Sorry. Which shrine did you choose? The holy shrine of Man of Imam Hussein. Well, Brother Amir, <coughs> unfortunately, the road ends here because that was the incorrect answer. It was the holy shrine of Al Askariyin uh -huh. stationed in Samarra. Brother Amir, as I always love to say, you know what Imam Ali alayhi salam says, some days are for you and some days are against you. Today is the day that was for you. For I have good news to say that you can call again on Monday. Allahu Akbar. Again on Wednesday. Allahu Akbar. Again on Friday. Allah. Again on Saturday. <laughs> Nara! It's but Amir, please call again. Don't be disheartened. You might have gotten it wrong today, but you get it correct the next day. Yes. Pray for me. Brother Yasser, before I leave. Yes. What did you have for iftar? Oh, thank you so much because you didn't ask me. As I said, people watch the show for you and not for me. <laughs> um, I had, alhamdulillah, mashriyat, which was some grilled food, you know, chicken wings, chicken tikka. Uh, lamb chops. Hey. Then I had some rice with some meat as a backup for the people that don't like it. I had an Iranian dish called Salada Uluvia, my favorite Iranian dish. And then I had some dessert. But of course, I prayed for you, Brother Emir. And it seems like the dua was not answered because you did not win today, but you shall win on Monday. <laughs> Thank you so much, Baba well, Amir, for calling us. May Allah bless you, your Ilahi family, Ameen. and your parents, and your grandparents, and your grandchildren. Ilahi Ameen. Fiyam and Allah wa hukwihi. With that being <coughs> said. With that, with that, Ahsantum. Thank you very much to all the callers. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, and all the callers, we had a line of people who wanted to speak to us today, I know, by the way. I know. But unfortunately, we couldn't get through to all of you guys. Uh, and we're coming to the end of the show, actually. But, guys, remember... We are on four times a week. Four times a week, you get to see that beautiful face there. So four times a week, you get to see the noon coming <laughs> no, out of the Four face times of a week. Look, look at that. <laughs> oh, 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 you're spoiling me. Please Mala stop. Rashid. You know please. what? La In honor of Rashid Haidar, Nara! <laughs> I've never seen a Nara broken in half, but fair enough. But inshallah, everyone watching at home, this is not the end. 
and we are still going to be back live on Monday. 100%. So we've got two days to go. 100%. Two days? Uh, one day. One day. Day and a bit. Uh, day, half day? Uh, three days. Whatever yeah, you man. call it. Um, but yeah, inshallah, we're back on Monday, guys. So please do tune in um, because we want to speak to you guys. We want to give more rings out. Yes. We want to give more people the chance to go to Karbala. Yes, of course so, we do. So, brother Yasser. Any last words from me? Well, yes, I would I like to tell you, you that some people won today, some people lost. All the people that won, Henny and Lekum, the people that lost, call again and then call again after that and call again after that. Please don't get disheartened that you did not go through the first time round. And as Mullah Rashid said, we are live throughout the days of Ramadan. Call in, ask how we are. Why are we always asking you? Sometimes <laughs> ask me. It's okay. It's okay. And with that being said, I've been your host for the most. I go by the name of Yasser and Hilfi. But this is my co-host. Rashid Haidar. And we were 7 Steps 7 on Imam Hussein TV 3. And with that, Fi Amanillah. Ma'a salama. Ma'a salama. <laughs> In December 2023, I met a young boy called Amir. I also met his younger brother, Hussein. I didn't meet his mother because his mother had passed away in September 2022, a year and three months before. I want to live the life of an orphan. I've come to see Amir and his younger brother. I want to follow what happens in their day.